Joined by Northeastern head coach Bill Cohen to his left, Scott Etherton to his left, Caleb Donnelly. Uh, we'll start with the uh, opening statement on the victory from Coach Cohen. And if you have questions, uh, please raise your hand and uh, we'll bring the microphone around. Uh, first, I'd like to uh, congratulate uh, UNCW on an outstanding year. Um, obviously, Coach Keats and his staff did just a tremendous job with that group. Um, they played with such pride and passion all year long. Uh, so coming into the game tonight, we knew we were um, in for a challenge. Uh, I thought, it, you know, our, our starters set the tone early on. They really competed. Uh, but I really thought, you know, our contributions off the bench tonight uh, separated the two teams. Uh, obviously, Caleb uh, did an outstanding job for us tonight, as did Devon Bagley and Reggie Spencer. Those guys, you know, were ready to play. Uh, Sometimes it's hard to, to keep your mind right when you're on the bench. And, uh, but they answered the bell uh, when their number was called, and they all had a tremendous impact on the game this evening. Questions? Coach, tell us how essential it is to have a, a big man at this time of the year. Because you yeah. won, the, won the game in pain, basically. Yeah, well, you know, Scotty has uh, you know, been our centerpiece for two years now. He's a guy that comes to work each and every day in practice. He's a vocal leader, he leads by example. He's, he's an extremely hard worker. Um, and uh, he's got that sense of urgency as a senior. And admittedly, he would tell you he didn't play his best game last night. He really wanted to step up tonight um, and, and, and be there for his teammates. And I thought he played you know, off the charts. He gave us a presence uh, both on the offensive end and the defensive end. And just played at a really high, high and consistent level uh, for two years straight. Congratulations on your win, Coach. Um, this yes. question is for Scott. At one point in the game, you scored six, 10 of the 16 points. What did you see and what zone did you get at? And what adjustments did you make from last night to today? Uh, well, last night, I just felt like I didn't do it. Like Coach said, it wasn't my best game. Uh, I feel like I didn't make a lot of energy with the team. So tonight, I was just going to try to bring as much energy as I could. And uh, be aggressive and try to help them on defense. It's what I usually focus on defense and the offense kind of uh, tonight evolved by itself. Hey, Coach, uh, in those first two meetings, the UNCW guards really got kind of whatever they wanted tonight. You guys made them work uh, a lot harder and really kind of took out, uh, Sproul out of the game there in the second half. What was your philosophy kind of on defense tonight or strategy? Well, you know, you know, they just, uh, they're Perona players, so, you know, and Spruill, you can count him in on that when he goes to the, to, to the four spot. They, they're just constantly in attack mode. It's very, very difficult to keep them out of the lane. In our first meeting, they got to the rim, they got in the paint, they got two feet in the paint almost on every possession. And, um, you know, we, we didn't do a very good job at all. I thought uh, down in Wilmington, we did a much better job of trying to keep guys out of the paint. But still, it's a challenge because they're quick. Uh, they, they, they're excellent ball handlers, and they're tough. So they, they, they take the bump, they get the lane physical contact, and it's really, really difficult to keep them out. But, you know, tonight, I thought with everything on the line, our guys uh, really got just maybe a little lower in their stance, got to get a little bit deeper and a little bit harder. And um, our team really wanted to go, go play in the championship game. And I think that urgency really was the difference. Coach, if uh, you could give an answer, and then Caleb as well. Before the season, Caleb, you told me that no matter if, no matter the playing time you got, you're going to come to practice each day and give it your all. Um, you're sitting at a podium now before the CAA championship game, and a season ago you were a redshirt walk-on, and before that, playing in Marino. I mean, just talk about how far you've come. Either or, you can go first. Uh, you take Caleb first, and then I'll yeah, I can't give enough thanks uh, to my teammates, the coaches, and just everyone involved in the team because um, it's it's a lot easier to go out there when you know that all the guys trust in you and uh, when everyone's trusting in each other. And um, yeah, I have to give all the credits to them uh, for just believing me, helping me feel confident out there. And um, we're just excited to keep on playing. Yeah, I think, you know, you're, you're looking at a Dean Ellers award, but, right? So there is no higher honor in this league. It speaks to character, it speaks to commitment, 
test and excellence. And that's what Caleb Donald is all about. And um, I said it, I think you did an interview on it, I said, nothing he does will ever surprise me because he attacks each and every day. Um, he gets more out of a 24 hour day than most people get out of a month. Um, he's, so, he's so dialed in, he's so focused, he's so committed and so team first that, you know, we always say that the, when, you, when you act like that as a player, somehow the basketball gods shine on you. And they certainly shine on him and us tonight. Bill, two part question. First thoughts on how well your guys handled and executed versus their all court pressure. And then the second half, thoughts on achieving 22 victories, which is the most for a Northeastern program since 1991, uh, the last time Northeastern made it to the NCAA tournament. Well, you know, I thought, you know, against the first part, Teddy, uh, uh, the pressure, I think we had two turnovers in the second half. And, you know, as people have followed us all year long, that's been a little bit of a Achilles heel for us. We haven't always taken great care of the basketball. Um, but I thought against it, you know, the best pressure team in our league, um, you know, we did an outstanding job of that, just really keeping the floor space, moving the ball, knowing where our looks are, keeping our composure. Um, you know, as far as the, the, the win total, I mean, you know, these guys will tell you, I, I, I'm not all, all about that. I'm, uh, I'm all about, uh, you know, their experience uh, and, and, and what this means to them. Um, because people won't forget how many wins you, uh, you, you total or how many losses you total. But it's the experience that these guys have together in the locker room. Um, and I know I can tell you from, from from the locker room experience that we just have, um, you know, there, there, there's nothing like winning. Um, these guys enjoy it. They've worked hard for it. They've earned every victory, and um, they're they're uh, excited to compete tomorrow in the championship game. Coach, um, how aware were you of what was happening in the first game? Were you guys waiting in the wings, back in the locker room, or in and around? Kind of take us through that. I think we warmed up about three times. <laughs> <laughs> But you know that's all part of the, the, the excitement, managing your emotions. We always talk about our guys uh, trying to reach the, the the appropriate excitement level right at, at tip, and it was hard to judge that tonight. Uh, it seemed like that game might go into four or five overtimes. Uh, but you know we the guys were loose in the locker room. Um, they they were they they, they were uh, obviously paying attention to the score and the timing and the. I thought the atmosphere, they handled it very well. Tomorrow, you have uh, William and Mary. How do you prepare for that? And also, how do you get your bench to be ready at being outscored uh, uh, UNC? That we mentioned 33 to 10. Well, you know, uh, Tony Shaver and his staff, in my opinion, uh, year in and year out, does the best job in this league. He gets his team to play so unselfishly, so so disciplined. Um, and their passing is impeccable. It reads on screen. Uh, the screens are elite. They move the ball. They share the ball. They shoot the ball. Um, they spread you out. Uh, they, they're they're a really really good basketball team. Um, you know, we went down to to Williamsburg and uh, didn't play our best game. Um, had it to us a single possession, maybe late in the game, and then we came back at home. We played much better against them at home. Uh, both both times, um, every possession is a challenge. They they make you work. And if you if you don't guard screen properly, if you're not in the right spot uh, where you're supposed to be in defensive help side position, they make you pay. So they keep you accountable um, for 40 minutes. So although it's a physical challenge, it's also a mental challenge because you have to stay dialed in and you have to stay disciplined. 35 seconds each and every possession, and then uh, you know for all night long for, for 40 minutes. And if you go under a screen or you trail a guy or you're not there on a catch, it's three points. And, uh, they have they have uh, tremendous players, uh, they have uh, tremendous depth, and, and, uh, and, they, and they got a tremendous team attitude. So it's going to be an extreme challenge for them. Scott, not just Caleb, but Reggie also came in and put up some great minutes, uh, as well as Devon Begley on defense, too. Just talk about your bench's performance uh, today as well. Um, it just really talks about our team, how talented we are. Reggie started for three years, so he's used to the ball and he plays. And he can speak, he can speak.
start off. I don't know, majority of the teams in our league. Um, he comes to work every day, just like Dave. Hey. And I feel like these guys, they don't really feel like they're coming off the bench. They're just, they're, it's like they're playing, it's like they've been playing the whole game. Um, they fit their role really well, just like the rest of our team. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much.